Legend of Zelda, 1986, NES. The Legend of Zelda is an action-adventure video game developed and published by Nintendo. It was released in 1986 for the Nintendo Entertainment System, NES. Players take control of the protagonist, Link, as he attempts to rescue Princess Zelda and save Hyrule from the evil Ganon. The game features a non-linear open world, allowing players to explore and discover various items, weapons, and dungeons. The Adventure of Link, 1987, NES The Adventure of Link is an action-adventure game released for the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1987. Link embarks on a quest to save Princess Zelda, who has been placed under a sleeping spell by the evil Ganon. Players must explore dungeons, battle monsters, and collect items to progress through the game. A Link to the Past, 1991, SNES The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past is an action-adventure game released for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 1991. Players take control of Link as he travels between the light and dark worlds, conquering fierce monsters and uncovering the mystery of the all-powerful Triforce. Along the way, Link must battle the evil forces of Ganon and save the Kingdom of Hyrule. Link's Awakening, 1993, Game Boy Link's Awakening is an action-adventure game for the Game Boy released in 1993. It follows Link on a quest to save the mysterious island of Koholint from a sleeping windfish. Along the way, Link must battle monsters, solve puzzles, and collect musical instruments to awaken the windfish and escape the island. Ocarina of Time, 1998, Nintendo 64 Ocarina of Time is a critically acclaimed action-adventure game for the Nintendo 64 released in 1998. Players take on the role of Link, a young boy who embarks on a quest to save Hyrule from the evil Ganondorf. Players must explore dungeons, solve puzzles, and fight enemies using a variety of weapons and magical objects. The game features an innovative 3D world and an iconic soundtrack. Majora's Mask, 2000, Nintendo 64 Majora's Mask is an action-adventure game developed and published by Nintendo for the Nintendo 64. It is the sixth installment in the Legend of Zelda series, and is set in the Land of Termina, an alternate version of the series' usual setting of Hyrule. The game follows the protagonist, Link, as he attempts to stop the moon from crashing into the world in three days. To do this, he must travel through time, find magical masks, and defeat the evil Skull Kid. Oracle of Ages, 2001, Game Boy Color Oracle of Ages is a top-down action-adventure game developed by Capcom and released for the Game Boy Color in 2001. The game follows Link, the protagonist of the Legend of Zelda series, as he travels between the present and the past in order to save the Oracle of Ages from the villain Varen. Players must solve puzzles, battle monsters, and collect items in order to progress through the game. Oracle of Seasons, 2001, Game Boy Color Oracle of Seasons is a top-down action-adventure game for the Game Boy Color. It is the second game in the Oracle series, which is part of the Legend of Zelda series. The game follows Link as he travels through the land of Holodrum, using the power of the seasons to solve puzzles and progress the story. Players will battle enemies, collect items, and explore dungeons as they progress through the game. For Swords, 2002, Game Boy Advance For Swords is an action-adventure game developed by Capcom and released for the Game Boy Advance in 2002. The game is based on the classic The Legend of Zelda series and features four players playing as Link as they explore dungeons and battle enemies in a quest to save Hyrule. The game also features cooperative play and a unique multiplayer mode. The Wind Waker, 2003, GameCube The Wind Waker is an action-adventure game for the GameCube released in 2003. Players take control of the young hero Link as he embarks on an epic quest to save the kingdom of Hyrule from the forces of darkness. With beautiful cel-shaded graphics and an immersive storyline, The Wind Waker is a timeless classic. For Swords Adventures, 2004, GameCube The Legend of Zelda, For Swords Adventures is an action-adventure game for the Nintendo GameCube. It is a spin-off of The Legend of Zelda series, and the first installment of the Four Swords saga. The game follows the same basic mechanics of the original Four Swords, with the addition of a new single-player mode and a storyline involving the Dark World. Players must traverse through various levels, solve puzzles, and battle enemies in order to save the world from the evil Vati. The Minish Cap, 2004, Game Boy Advance The Minish Cap is a 2004 action-adventure game developed and published by Nintendo for the Game Boy Advance. 
players take on the role of Link, a young hero who must restore balance to the kingdom of Hyrule by collecting magical artifacts and restoring the power of the mystical Picori race. Along the way, Link must battle monsters, solve puzzles, and explore dungeons. Twilight Princess, 2006, GameCube slash Wii. Twilight Princess is an action-adventure game developed by Nintendo and released for the GameCube and Wii in 2006. Players take control of a hero named Link, who embarks on a quest to restore balance to the kingdom of Hyrule. Along the way, he must battle monsters, solve puzzles, and explore dungeons. The game features a unique art style, large open-world environments, and a variety of weapons and items. Phantom Hourglass, 2007, Nintendo DS Phantom Hourglass, 2007, Nintendo DS Phantom Hourglass is an action-adventure game for the Nintendo DS, released in 2007. It is the sequel to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker and follows the same protagonist, Link, as he travels to a new land to rescue his friend Tetra. The game features touchscreen controls, puzzles, and battles against monsters. Spirit Tracks, 2009, Nintendo DS the Legend of Zelda, Spirit Tracks is an action-adventure video game for the Nintendo DS, released in 2009. The game follows the story of Link, a young train engineer, as he embarks on a quest to save the kingdom of Hyrule from a mysterious evil force. The game features traditional Zelda-style gameplay, with a mix of puzzle-solving and action, as well as the addition of a train system, allowing the player to explore the world in a new way. Skyward Sword, 2011, Wii Skyward Sword 2011, Wii. Skyward Sword is an action-adventure game developed and published by Nintendo for the Wii console. The game follows the protagonist, Link, on a quest to save the land of Hyrule from the forces of evil. The game utilizes the Wii Motion Plus accessory for precise motion control and features an all-new art style, orchestrated music, and a deep storyline. A Link Between Worlds, 2013, Nintendo 3DS. A Link Between Worlds is an action-adventure game for the Nintendo 3DS released in 2013. The game follows the traditional Legend of Zelda formula, with players controlling the hero Link as he travels between two different worlds to save Hyrule from the evil sorcerer Yuga. Players must use classic items such as the hookshot and bombs to progress through the game, while also utilizing the new wall-merging ability to traverse obstacles. The game also features several dungeons, puzzles, and side quests that must be completed in order to progress. Triforce Heroes, 2015, Nintendo 3DS Triforce Heroes is an action-adventure game developed by Nintendo for the Nintendo 3DS. The game features three players who work together to complete puzzles, defeat enemies, and explore dungeons. Players use costumes to gain special abilities and can switch between characters to solve puzzles. The game also features a cooperative multiplayer mode. Breath of the Wild, 2017, Nintendo Switch, Wii U Breath of the Wild is an open-world action-adventure game developed and published by Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch and Wii U consoles. It is set in the fantasy land of Hyrule and follows the protagonist, Link, as he attempts to save the kingdom from Calamity Ganon. The game features a non-linear story and a wide variety of puzzles, enemies, and weapons. Players explore the world, defeat enemies, and complete various quests in order to progress through the story. Cadence of Hyrule, 2019, Nintendo Switch Cadence of Hyrule is a rhythm-based action-adventure game developed by Brace Yourself Games and published by Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch. The game combines the iconic world and characters of the Legend of Zelda series with rhythms and mechanics from the indie hit Crypt of the Necrodancer. Players take control of either Link or Princess Zelda as they explore a randomly generated Hyrule and battle monsters to the beat of remixed versions of classic Zelda tunes. Link's Awakening, 2019, Nintendo Switch Link's Awakening is a 2019 remake of the 1993 classic action-adventure game for the Nintendo Switch. It follows the story of Link, a young hero, as he embarks on a quest to save the mysterious island of Koholint from a sleeping windfish. The game features a unique art style, reimagined dungeons, and an updated control scheme. Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, 2020, Nintendo Switch Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity is an action-adventure game developed by Omega Force and Team Ninja for the Nintendo Switch. It is a prequel to The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, set 100 years before the events of the game. The game features a variety of characters from the Zelda series, as well as the ability to play co-op with up to three other players. 
players will be able to fight against hordes of enemies and bosses, as well as explore the world of Hyrule. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, 2023, Nintendo Switch The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom is an upcoming action-adventure game for the Nintendo Switch, set in the fantasy world of Hyrule. Players will take on the role of Link, and explore the kingdom to uncover its secrets and restore peace. Along the way, they will battle monsters and solve puzzles, as they search for the Tears of the Kingdom, a powerful relic that can restore balance to Hyrule. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. Your support means a lot to me, and helps me create even more content for you to enjoy. Thanks again for watching.